Hey, what's going on, everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com. Back today with another uh, cryptocurrency price prediction uh, analysis and forecast. Today, I'm going to be going over LISC. And this is a cryptocurrency that's in the top 20, coming around at the 9th or 15th spot based on a market cap. Pretty low market cap here, only $600 uh, million. And, you know, I got to be honest, this is actually a cryptocurrency that um, I find pretty interesting. Good branding and stuff, and you know, I like the potential of this one. I'm gonna go over the chart and stuff, but uh, you know, right off the bat, let me just say that they have a pretty big community, right? 15,000 uh, on their subreddit, which is pretty big considering where it ranks, um, you know, in, in this ranking of market cap and stuff, and c considering that it's not the biggest one. This is a, a reasonable and, uh, and pretty big community for, um, for its size which is always great to see. And you know, their branding and clarity is, is really on point, which I really appreciate, right? Their, their website is very professional. And you know, this is this is important to me and maybe a little bit of a weird way to judge a cryptocurrency, but there's some out there that are just a mess. And you know, I think that creates complications when it's hard to understand and and badly presented, right? So Lisk has no problem on that. Um, they're really on point with everything that's branding wise. And uh, yeah, I think everyone would, would agree with that. Uh, so getting into some of the more uh, detailed specifics here, real fast, what is LISC? LISC is basically going to try to uh, create a platform for developers to easily um, create decentralized uh, JavaScript applications um, that, that run on the blockchain and on their network uh, with a sidechain method to, to preserve their, their, their own network running smoothly and do that in the, the most seamless way possible. So there's obviously gonna be a, uh, a need for that in the future. And you know, uh, it'll just be a matter of the, the developers moving over to, to, to the list network and stuff, but uh, they they're definitely have a, uh, a good mission in mind and something that'll be necessary in the future as developers will, will wanna utilize the blockchain technology in the easiest way possible, okay? So I, I like their, their mission here and uh, getting into the price and chart and stuff. So real quickly, uh, the cryptocurrency is currently at five dollars and thirty-one cents, right? It uh, came on the market back in uh, about April two thousand sixteen, right? Had a bit of a fall here. Uh, took a took a while of um, of accumulation, I guess, and sort of stagnation over here around fifty cents, and then around uh, March two thousand seventeen, really started taking off, right? Had a big rise, and it's been pretty stable. <laughs> Uh, despite the the big spikes um, over the past couple months, right, which is good to see, right, still in a nice uptrend here, nothing to worry about. Uh, volume at 7.5 million the past 24 hours. I'm not sure if this is an average, but you know it's okay considering that it's one of the uh, smaller cryptocurrencies out there. Obviously, it, it uh, will need to be uh, accepted on more exchanges and stuff, which will be great for the cryptocurrency in the future. But you know, all those things take time. And let's go back to the other page here. Uh, circulating supply of currently 113 million, a little bit on the higher side. Uh, LISC is a cryptocurrency that does not have a maximum amount, right? But the, the inflation rate should decrease. So, you know, the supply will slow down, right? Uh, which is fine. Uh, it's, it's not the best, obviously. I like, like fixed supplies, but um, that's okay. I mean, it, it's uh, reasonable. And as far as the... Um, well, let me let me start off by saying, right, like I said, I, I, I see a lot of potential um, based on, on just their, their professionalism and, um, yeah, l like the things I mentioned, I can see them moving up into, you know, I think these guys can move into the top 10 cryptocurrencies, so that would be pretty massive already if they were able to do that. That's a, a great sign, and, you know, I, I think that uh, it's a bit of an outlier here. I think it, it, it deserves to be one of the more uh, mainstream cryptocurrencies, right? I mean, to what amount uh, that depends, but, you know, I think it'll move up the rank ranking pretty significantly in the next um, two years, so at, at least, right? And, yeah, li like I said, uh, like I forgot to mention, but I will do the price prediction for the next five years out. But first, let me let me mention what I think might be happen in the short term, right? Maybe the next couple months, six months out, possibly a year. It really depends, but at least the next couple months, uh, unfortunately, I do see the cryptocurrency falling a bit, which I, I don't think is anything to worry about. You know, I think it's just going to be a, a bit of a pullback slash buying opportunity. 
But the reason why is that if you look at the chart here, it did actually break through a couple important support levels, which, you know, is once again kind of normal considering that the, I mean, it, it went up massively, right? Only at a 12, a 10, like 10 cents not long ago at all, right? Back in March 2017. So the rise is is enormous. And it's obviously kind of expected for pullbacks to happen, right? So it'll, it'll be completely normal to see this fall back down a bit in the short term, right? And, and like I said, that could be a great investing opportunity. Um, but yeah, it did break this uh, initially, this sort of $5.50 level. Like I said, we're at $5.31 here. So that was a pretty uh, main support level for a while. And now it, it kind of, if I'm not mistaken, broke through this $5.35 one. And that's not great just because this means that the next support level, if I'm not mistaken, is this $4.42. And at that point, uh, it could either bounce there, if my, my prediction is correct, that'll fall a bit in the next couple months. Or it could, I'm pretty sure that if it breaks through this $4.42 and, um, and level, we will most likely see uh, a strong bounce on this $3.75 level, right? But uh, But it could very well bounce here. Okay, so I mean, that depends, but... I would say the lowest I can see it going in the next couple of months would be to the three dollars and fifty six level, which would obviously kind of suck for for people who who are currently holding the cryptocurrency. But like I said, you know that could be a great uh, accumulation area. So yeah, that's just something to think about based on the chart, right? That seems like it broke broke a couple of support levels, but for the next two years, I, I'm like pretty optimistic. I think that you know, like I said, I, I do see this as becoming. Um, one of the, the bigger cryptocurrencies, you know, and and their, their branding and professionalism li puts them into that category that I think where they deserve to be in, in that top 10 ranking. So, you know, I could see them based on, on you know, the general cryptocurrency moving upwards and stuff, getting to um, to maybe at least $20, right? Uh, that would be a 400% increase in the next two years. So that's pretty good. And, you know, 600 billion market cap. So that would put them at around... A uh, two billion market cap, right? If we're rounding, um, so yeah, around two billion dollars for for the next two years. And you, you know, to be honest, I think it could even go a bit higher. It, it would have to depend on where some of the main ones uh, move. They would have to move up as well, right? We, we obviously want to see the the general upturn keep continue going up in, in the cryptocurrency play, uh, marketplace, but. I also think that in, in you know within the next two to five years we could really see this cryptocurrency move even uh, higher in market cap you know four billion six billion I'm gonna say maybe as high as eight billion in market cap uh, so let me let me see real fast so just gonna run through some numbers here if uh, if Lisk is able to reach a six billion dollar market cap in the next five years. That would put the price, and I'm just uh, rounding up the numbers here and stuff, but uh, that would put it around $60. And you know, it, it seems like a massive increase, obviously, from from where we are now, and it is. But I think it's possible, you know, there's no reason why that couldn't happen. The cryptocurrency marketplace is is growing at a crazy rate. And, you know, Lisk, Lisk could, could definitely be one of the the cryptos to really benefit from from the bigger adoption that's uh, that's coming and you know sixty dollars like I said it could even maybe reach uh, eight billion dollars in market cap which would be a sixteen hundred percent increase so you know I think this is gonna turn into a double digit cryptocurrency pretty soon and like I said just to recap uh, I think a four hundred percent increase so it would put it around twenty dollars for the next two years and you know then even move a bit higher into the you know, 50, 60, 70 dollar range in the next five years. And obviously this is a pretty optimistic viewpoint, but I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about this cryptocurrency, where you guys think it might be heading, if you like it or not. And with that being said, everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something useful out of it. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more cryptocurrency investing and trading videos. Thanks for watching everyone.